Hey guys, Tarko Cyclone FPV here, and I am actually getting ready to do a small frame repair. Uh, <clears throat> I went flying today, and since I don't really get to fly much, my skills are kind of slacking. And uh, so, anyways, long story short, I had one of my standard wrecks, and uh, anyways, it, I came down pretty hard after hitting a metal uh, pole. Uh, it came down, hit the pole hard, then hit the concrete hard. And so now what I've got is I've got a little bit of delamination in one of the um, uh, back arms. And so I'm going to show you guys how I would fix it here. Uh, you know, delamination is a problem. Uh, and, and, you know, it, uh, obviously the higher quality carbon fiber, the less chance of delamination. But at the same time, when you slam it as hard as I do, just because I'm not very good at flying, um, you know, you, you hit it at certain angles and you can actually just start delamination even if you've got awesome carbon fiber. So I'm going to show you what I've done here. Or I'm going to do it actually here and you're going to see the end result. And it's pretty cheap quick fix to so that you don't have to be uh, grounded for a while right so let me switch camera angles here and uh, see if I can <coughs> make this work kind of get you guys a, <coughs> a view of this so um, what we've got uh, is the uh, this is the remake of the diatone a similar version uh, of like the diatone frame that I really like and so I decided to cut one of these and I love it I mean this Probably gonna actually start making these. They're a little bit more custom. I can uh, I've changed the sides. Obviously, the diode tone uses uh, aluminum. Uh, I made the entire sides out of carbon fiber here, and I can make them as high as I need uh, so that they um, you know they can fit whatever components. And uh, so, anyways, I was flying this one, and I love this one, but unfortunately, I banged in pretty hard here. Go ahead and take the props off, props off here. I'm trying without cutting my finger. Hopefully, um, I'll show you what I'm working with. And as you can see by this prop, it didn't break, but definitely got the crap beat out of it. Let me just get this off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to probably take the two back props off for now so I can get going with this. But I want to be able to show you a clean image of what we're talking about. So right here, um, and I'll try to zoom in here if I can, but you will see right there, this is exactly where it hit and rolled. I mean, and this thing just got the crap knocked out of it, right? So, and be careful, don't do what I just did because you run your finger across the end of the splinter. Now I gotta take this out. So, uh, temporary uh, intermission here. Let me get my old man magnifying glasses and get this splinter right out of my finger before it starts to hurt. So yeah, don't, don't do what I did, please. Just don't run your finger across it because you will pick up a bunch of splinters and uh and that sucks okay so uh getting back to this here obviously like i said when i just was an idiot and ran my finger across it this is where we have our delamination this is where um even the motor got dinged up pretty good right here but it's still good and uh testing it looks like it's still spinning fine so here's what i would do um first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and unscrew the motor right and the reason i'm going to do that is because i need the space that it's on to clamp the carbon fiber down so I'm going to go ahead and remove these screws, which is fine anyway, because I need to put some, uh, some Loctite on there. So let me just go ahead and get this off. The screws are off. I'll put those away. Pull this motor up. Get the zip tie out of here. Okay, I'm just going to leave the, uh, the motor folded like that. Now, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to use this. Um, it's a uh, Bob Smith Industries, uh, it's just a brand. I like it. It's called Max Secure and it is the really fast 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 quick drying with the um, accelerator uh, spray uh, super glue right and this is it's really awesome uh, so we're going to use that and what you're going to need is what i've got here is a set of dewalt uh, you know those little clamp things that you just whatever the home builder people call them or home depot people call them but anyways they're just gripper things whatever you call them um, and i'm going to use that here but you need to make sure i clamp this down real good so what I want to do before, I'm not going to sand anything right now, right? Because I want to leave as much of this as I can. And I'm just going to go in here and really just get this all kind of in there. But I'm going to try my best to make sure I don't get too much of it on the surface. 
because I don't want my clamps to get stuck on this thing. Although, uh, I will be able to take it off. Um, you want to kind of get it in there. Just, sorry, I don't know if I took that off camera, but you kind of just want to get in there and cover it. So you're going to see right here, uh, I've got all the super glue, uh, the quick drying super glue kind of pressed or uh, layered right in there, right? And so now, I'm going to try to get these clamps on here, but not, I'm going to try not to get them stuck on the super glue, but I need to clamp this down as hard as I can to try to bring the layers together, right? Just like that, okay? Now, there's a good chance this is going to stick, but I can take these pieces off. So anyways, once you get that clamp down, you can see now it looks pretty good. I mean, once you clamp that back down, that's in there pretty good. So now what I'm just, just going to go ahead and spray it. And that's it. Uh, super glue is now dry. Uh, it just takes a few seconds of that. And hopefully, if I can wiggle this off, I can, and you know what, I need to just go ahead and try to clamp it a little bit more because whatever super glue is in that crack that did not get the quick dry, I have a chance of still squeezing that down there. So let me go ahead. By the way, that beeping is my batteries being charged for tomorrow's flight. Okay, so we've got everything drying um, and it's been sprayed. Let's just make sure it's correct. Um, but now what you want to do is you still have to sand the parts, right, because you don't want to get splitters on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit for just a little bit, and I'm going to touch up a couple other areas where I pounded in pretty good. These really aren't that big of a deal, um, but I will still put the soup glue on there just to make sure that I hold it pretty good uh, in case there is the start of something. Now, this one didn't get any damage at all. Okay, so um, that's that. Arm is now put together well. Um, the super glue is dried. Uh, tops are back on, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this kind of sanded, All right? Now I'm going to do this with a nail file, um, but uh, I also have a sander I could do this with, but we're talking about these are the kind of things you can take with you in your bag when you go fly. You're not going to have a sander with you, so just take like a, you know, a, a nail file is the best thing to start with in my opinion because it's got pretty good control over it. It's easy to hold. Um, and yes, for anybody making wise cracks, my joke, my wife always asks me if I'll do her nails now because I apparently have a good skill at this. Um, anyways, just keep sanding it. And what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that you sand your edges at like 45 degrees. You want to almost bevel them out, right? Um, because you want these to be, this is going to be, if you do get a splinter, this will be where it happens. And you want to make sure that you have that at an angle so that you kind of eliminated any uh, sharp edges that were coming up, right? So we're just gonna keep sanding just a little bit. We're gonna go, go ahead and just use the nail file the whole time and uh, bevel out these edges. Okay, we get just a little bit more. That's done. I'm just gonna sand down um, the glue where there was like an excess amount of it. So just go with that with your nail file now. And you can see, I mean, I'm running my finger on this. I've got all the sharp points out and everything's kind of blended together here now. So um, there's no splinters coming at this point. So you really don't have much, but be careful. I mean, I can't guarantee you, you won't get the splinter. And I don't want to be in trouble for it, so just be careful. Um, but for the most part, by now this stuff should be pretty smooth. You shouldn't have any sharp edges. And it's starting to look real good here, so I'm just going to clean this up a little bit more right here. Okay, that looks good. Alright, now, um, at this point I would take like a this is a 2000 grit that I've cut down. And I'm just gonna go at it. Just a nice, fine, uh, uh, last last bit, you know, of sanding. Um, and I wanna get this kind of a white look on it. So I'm gonna go around it real quick. 
And I still got a little bit of raised super glue here. So I'm just And even with this grit, make sure to just go around the edge. Okay, at that 45 degree style, you know, you can just kind of come down at 45 degrees. Whatever you want to do, you want to make that as smooth and rounded as possible. And that way you can ensure that you do not have any uh, splinters or splintered pieces coming out, right? Okay, so with that done, um, it's going to have this white haze to it right and so now what i'll do and you want to make sure you obviously you wear a mask if you have one in round some people will some people won't but main thing is make sure that you keep your hands clean if you do get carbon fiber on them uh, make sure to clean them very well uh, i keep these alcohol pads um, uh, handy for when i do carbon fiber work uh, these are medical grade um, you're not supposed to be touching with your hands i guess something you can dry your skin out it does do that so you gotta be careful but I, I uh, used to do work at a doctor's office and they had these all the time and I liked them. So I use them, uh, very good stuff. Anyways, um, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go around the arm. And here's one good thing about these. If there is a splinter spot or a snag, these will catch onto it real quickly, all right? And they will leave some fiber behind. So um, you'll be able to feel it. And right there, I can feel like right here, I can, I can feel, you see, and I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of fiber. Let me see if I can get this camera to zoom in. So, yeah, you can barely see it, but there is this fiber right here, you see? That tells me that right here, and you can feel, I can feel it now when I run my finger over it, and if I, if I zoom in, you might be able to see that. Yep. So it is right here. There it is, and if you take this razor blade, you'll see, it's like, it hits right here, right? So we have some sanding to do right there. And that's why I use these cloths because I like the way they shred uh, or at least give these tells away. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of quickly sand and try to blend that in. And now, there's still a little bit left. Take a little bit more and then I'm gonna use the 2000 grit and that ought to take care of it as well. So let me do that. That looks good, seems to feel good. And now when I run, uh, when I run the cloth over it, I do not have anything. Well, I have a little bit right here. Let me see, the other spot's good, but I seem to have almost pushed everything to this one spot. So let's see, okay, running it down. Let me take the thing here. All right, a few more little steps. Okay, and some 2000. Okay, and that is perfect. Okay. So now, when we rub this cloth across and clean off this arm, sorry, I need to zoom out, I'm sure. Um, uh, everything here looks, and you can get an idea now. So remember the before, right? And now you can see the after, okay? So we're back to having a smooth edge. Uh, all our pieces of carbon fiber are now bonded back together. Um, you can still sand some more if you wish. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much because everything here looks pretty good and ready to go. Uh, there is one last thing that I would do, uh, which is if you wanted to, you could go with a marker around this just to keep it if you don't, if you're not able to get it as black as you want it. But this looks pretty darn good actually. Um, I don't really have a problem with this at all. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with how well it came out because that, that super glue is amazing. So again, this is a super glue I use and this and the quick accelerator. So I got those on Amazon. 
uh, and uh, they're they're pretty awesome. Um, as far as the arm goes, everything looks good. I have no complaints about this right now. Uh, if you do take like a permanent, I'll give you an idea. I think I have one around here. Maybe not though. Hold on. Mm, actually, I don't see it. Uh, I don't know. Let me try this. Nope. Well, I thought I had a permanent marker. Um, I, I don't. I do. I don't know where I put it. But it's, it's a marks a lot marker, right? Those are the kind that I like to use the most, but I don't have one. But I will just kind of go over it with this. So if I use a permanent marker here, and you're barely going to see anything happen because this really stayed super black as it is, but this is a good way to just kind of touch up any scuff marks or anything that you have. You can put a marker on there, um, and then that's it. You can hide any blemishes with that. But there you go. So the arm went from being uh, showing big signs of delamination. Uh, and now, it, and here I'll switch camera angles. Maybe this will help just a little bit too. So let me see if I can do this. There. All right. So uh, again, this is the final uh, outcome of this. And uh, I'm, I like it. I mean, it's ready to fly. Um, this little bump that I see right here is just a little bit of uh, uh, super glue that... Um, I'm really not going to worry about it because it's going to kind of give uh, the arm a little bit of protection. I guess it's going to stick a little bit out, but uh, it's definitely, it's not the carbon fiber. I'm just not sanding that down as much because I don't mind that being on there. Um, but uh, overall, it looks really good. Uh, everything has been sealed back up. And now we can get on to the next one. So uh, on this one, which you see right here, we've got almost similar. I'll see if I can get that in closer. So you can see kind of there where there is uh, a little bit of separation right here. Um, and again, the same thing will happen, and we'll do that real quickly, uh, just because it may help you guys. So let me knock that out. Let me switch angles here. I forgot that I was not on another thing, so let me zoom out. Clean up my bench here. Okay, this prop will come off. This arm is off. This time we will do, um, I will get a very big close up of this prior so we can have a nice before and after picture, okay? Um, and I'm sure this is boring for some of y'all, but for some of y'all who, you know, you want the arms to last like me, I don't want to cut this, this is a unibody frame. I need this thing to last as long as possible because it's way too expensive for me to cut a whole new frame. But I prefer unibodies anyway, and so in cases like this, um, you gotta have a, a plan B, and this is gonna be the plan B, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put these both these motors over now. And what we're going to do is we're going to have you guys zoom in on this one. Okay, so as you can see, we have a slight uh, splitting of the carbon fiber. All right, so right here. Okay, uh, we've got the red from the fire lane that I rolled into. Um, and then, uh, you know, we've got some, some splintered pieces here, right? So I can take this knife and kind of go in to the car. I don't know, you can't see that. I can go into the carbon fiber there a little bit. So we want to fix all that, okay? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to basically do the same thing. We're going to go ahead, open our super glue. Now, I, I tell you what, though. Um, I may sand a little bit of this one because I want the red to kind of be removed a little bit. I'm going to take that same sander and just kind of get started on it just a little bit. The reason I say you don't have to do this is it's not, if you haven't sprayed it, you have the chance of, uh, pieces of this coming off, right? Like the splinters. So just make sure you've got a mask on there, okay? Um, I didn't realize I zoomed in that much. Sorry, but let me zoom out just a little bit. But I still want you guys to be able to see it. So the sanding is the key to a lot of this. Now, I, I would be careful how much you sand because you still want that super glue to get in there. But um, you also want to kind of make it a little bit safer to touch here before we do anything. So you could sand before if you want. I'm just going to do that so I can get a little bit of the red eliminated. All right. I'm gonna leave it at that and then just sand the rest later. So here's my super glue again. Uh, where is my cloth? I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out because I don't want to super glue the carbon fiber dust on here. But be careful when you do this that you don't get any splinters, okay? All right, now, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and we have quite a bit of delam delamination here. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of get this across like so. Okay. And that's it. I mean, not much, but 
you know, and you can use your razor knife or whatever to spread the um, super glue where you want it. And I mean, I'm just going to kind of take this razor knife. This, what do you call these little knife? I guess razor knife. Um, and I want to kind of spread it as evenly as I can. It will make the process of sanding much easier when you don't have as much lumpy crap on it. Okay, now I'm going to use the same uh, grips again, these little clamper things, and we're going to go ahead and put it to clamp down as best as we can the carbon fiber area that's damaged, right? And we need to get just a little bit more up here. All right, now we need to spray this quickly because if we do, then we can take the clamps off and it should not get the spray on the top portion. So we're gonna let that sit a second. Okay. Uh, all right, that, that didn't help me much on that side. And at the same time, we wanna clean up this area. So there we go, we've got our clamp holding. Sorry if that went off camera, guys. I'm trying to stay zoomed in so I can show you everything, but at the same time, it's kind of being a pain in the butt. So let me just kind of get this out of here. Clean up this bench. Okay, so this is what we got now. Now we're going to go ahead and release this. And there's a lot of leverage on that to be able to um, pull that out so you won't really want to get this stuck. Okay, so now we want to clean this up. And so we're going to wipe it down real quick. And there is a whole bunch of rough spots right here. So we're going to get started with our nail file again. And basically we're going to do the same thing we did on the other one. across again and see if I snag anything. I think there's a little bit right here. Almost the same spot as the last one. Um, there is some uneven super glue here too, which again, I'm not gonna worry about it too much because this adds kind of a barrier to it. So I'm not, it's not like if I leave a, a little extra layer of super glue on here, it's gonna cause any problems. Uh, there's no weight issues or motor mounting issues, right? It's just more aesthetics than anything else. And uh, I guess it could kind of be felt like an arm guard. <laughs> not much, but it's not a big deal if you leave some of it. All right, so let's see where we're at now. Got a couple rough edges right here, so I'll go back into sanding those. Uh, looks like I have a snag point right there, so I'm gonna sand that too. And it looks like my file has kind of had its share of it. Now, I got some heavy grit sandpaper too, but I'm just gonna stick with the file, but just make sure. Actually, let me try this. This is uh, some uh, eight, eight, eight good, I think, which is also going to be pretty good to use before the um, 2000 grit. So let me just. I like the nail files because they're easy to use uh, and easy to carry around. But um, all right, so that's what I want. There we go. So that takes that piece off. Now that is just. The extra, um, I had a lot of extra um, glue right there, so that helped to get that last layer of that off. All right, I'm done with this. Now we're just going to go back to the nail file. So we know we've got the super glue in there pretty good. Um, now the test is going to be to get another wipe and see if this comes out. Well, now the red is really, I got some paint in there that's just not coming out. So let me just kind of go over this and see where I'm at. I have no snags. 
So this looks really good. Um, and now, like I said, what I would do is you could take a permanent marker. All right, so let me just make sure, yeah. Okay, and I would use not this kind, I would use like a mark slot or, or one of those thick ones. But you basically just go over the area, all right? And you will get rid of the red or eliminate. Now with the proper marker, you will, let me see if I can find one. Hold on one second. I really want to show you guys what this would look like. Yep, and I found one. So, as long as it works, and it does, this is the kind of marker I would use. These are awesome for this type of purpose. They're pretty wide uh, tip on there. So just go ahead and go over the arm, just like that. Well, that was the old one, so this is the one we just did. So we'll go over it, let it dry, and then you can uh, put the super glue back on one more time, especially if you feel like if you've sanded down too low, um, and that's it. So now we'll let that dry for a few seconds, and I will show you the end result. Again, guys, look, I um, should be wearing the glasses when I do this, and you should too. I forgot to grab them because I was really just in a hurry to do this for you guys and show you what it would look like. But now I'm realizing I'm not teaching you with the best method. So um, please go put the glasses on and understand that usually I do too. Um, and I just made a poor choice here not to do that for this video. But I am trying my best not to make those kind of mistakes. All right. So let's look at our end result. Our end result is um, pretty nice and clean uh, arm repair. All right. So we have sanded and pressed all the carbon fiber back together. And uh, it came out looking really good. We have no snags, no splinters. So now we can just take our motors and bolt them back on, which I'm gonna do later. I've gotta put some Loctite on here. But uh, yeah, I mean, so this is the end result. So let me go back to a bigger picture now. There you go. And so here are the two arms that were delaminated uh, and separated right there, right there, right? And they have been sanded. And like I said, you see some excess glue on this one. I'm not gonna really sand it off, but if you look, our pieces are pressed back together. Everything looks clean, except for, like I said, this area here where I would sand probably a little bit more if I was worried about it. And then this is the second one we just did that had the red on it. And it came out looking good and everything's solid. And all the carbon fiber is back to normal as far as it being pressed together. Looks good, that's it. Kind of a long video, I know, uh, a little boring, I guess. Um, hey, make sure to check us out on Facebook. I'm using my new buttons again. Uh, make sure to check us out on YouTube. Whoops, I've got to make that one go away. There you go. And uh, if you have any questions, email me at tark at cyclonefpv.com. You can reply to these videos, and I'm trying my best to keep up with them, but I don't get all the notifications that somebody's written me. So just shoot me an email. If I can help you, I will. Uh, it will take me some time to get back with you. I'm trying not to get too bogged down with emails and other stuff because I've still got to finish the work I've got. But um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Hope this helps, guys. If it was boring, I apologize. Uh, all right, anyways, God bless, take care, stay flying, and I will see you soon. Bye.